Hello everyone and welcome to K-Podcast. Now today's topic is love and hip-hop and I'm going to tell you guys this, why some men feel like they don't need to change because this is the thing, when women actually prioritize men, it comes out in another way. Now we have Erika Mena over here, Safari, and then we have this other couple, Jock and, you know, Mida and Kendra. Now, with uh, it is so messy when I watch these two back to back. I'm like, why do some women feel like it is okay to let a man ruin your life? Like, why would you want to do that? Like, and if you look at the interactions and like what, what's been going on in many of these topics, Especially when it comes to Jock. Let, let's just talk about Jock. Now, him, he is a problem. He doesn't even care about his behavior. He doesn't even care if he's, it, like, disrespecting his, you know, woman in front of everybody. He does not care. He feels like, you know, when you feel a lot en enough entitlement with a lot of women that actually think, oh, okay, I can't do without you. And in Erika Mena's case, like every other woman here, the relationship between Erika Mena and Safari, God have, God have mercy. Then you talk about Mina, Kendra, and Jack, like, no, it is a whole mess. So I'm going to let you guys listen to a little bit of this clip, and I'm going to come back to my commentary on why a lot of men are not going to change as long as women still give them the opportunity. Oh, yikes. Erica, we saw you get really emotional on that phone call. Can you talk to us about that moment, what you were feeling? I was really, like, breaking in, like, pieces day by day. I've done a lot of therapy since, and I found so many lessons that I needed to learn and I was able to tap into, like, I attracted this energy into my life. Yeah. I've had some faults in my marriage. But at the same time, I've also swept so much under the rug. Hey, guys. It's obvious me and Safari will never be. I was in the hospital bed with this man's son. That man didn't care if I made it through that pregnancy. That man didn't care if I made it through that labor. I really have fought through some dark time. Like, literally, I couldn't get out of bed, guys. Okay, I'm going to say this. Erica, I do not wish any any of this on any woman. This is the thing. When you give a man chance and chance, lots of chances, this is what you get. And this is also what a lot of women are experiencing. But a lot of women like to be in denial because you want to continue keeping that relationship. That person is not going to respect you. That person is not going to feel like he wants to be in that relationship with you. You prioritize that person. Safari so over here sitting down like, well, when she done talking, let, let me know. That is what he was giving. He was giving me, when she's done talking, let me know. And I know a lot of people say they don't feel sorry for Erica Mena. I would feel sorry for any woman, any woman at all. I don't care. But at the same time, I do not wish this on any, anybody. I do not wish this on anybody. And this is the thing. When you are preference, you think that these men out here that are literally, literally colorists and all of this, that have all these uh, uh, preferences that they want on women. This is the thing. I don't think Safari look at Erica and thought, oh, yeah, I like her because of her personality, or I like her because I'm in love with the person inside, not the appearance, not the way she looks. But this is the thing. I feel like Erica probably enjoyed the first stage of relationship because she was probably praised on her looks and her real hair and all of that. And this is the thing. At the end of the day, you still get the same men that every other woman out here are getting. And when you prioritize sweeping, whenever they do wrong and you sweep it under the bed, do, do you think it's going to stop? It's not. You stop it when it starts, when it just 
<sighs> excuse me when it's just beginning you stop it there you don't stop it later on it is never gonna stop they are never gonna stop it they're gonna continue the behavior now we're gonna move to jock and you know kendra now before i play this clip of this video i'm gonna say this is for educational purpose alone so yeah now i'm gonna say this this the 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 situation between jock and kendra it's like kendra has given him too much like like erica men like these women open up this relationship they literally let this man sit around and think that they are the prize when you treat a man like he's the prize he's gonna act like he's the prize and jock gives me a very i'm the prize and look at all these women fighting it because of me he doesn't really care and when kendra actually brought the topic of getting a divorce he walked out and we're gonna see that clip but with that being said before we begin we continue please press that like button and subscribe because later on i'll be doing a video on winter is coming and we're gonna be talking about that but for now let's continue with this it became clear that you knew it became clear that you knew about the baby mm -hmm. so why did you cry that night in front of the girls like it seemed like you, like you didn't know it's just embarrassing and then like the baby stuff we've been dealing with for a very long time like jocelyn and i it literally became a public thing and so that in a like that panic and that frustration and it just like made me mad all over again like it's, it's straight bull like i i expected you jocelyn to be better i expected you to make better decisions I feel guilty okay i had to cut her off over there she's expecting him to do better and he had never done better. Has he done better? He has not, never done better. In fact, he's made it worse. He's made it known that he's still, you know, messing with uh, Mida. He's still messing with Mida. And you continue to stay in that relationship. What do you expect? You think he's going to change? He's not going to change. The only person that has the power to do anything at this point is you, Kendra. You can either leave his dusty personality you can leave him and just move along you know go get a better life for yourself or you stay and continue taking all this mess because he, he doesn't look like he is gonna change he doesn't look like he wants to change he is actually enjoying all of this drama he is enjoying all this drama and let you know what let's continue because i want you guys to hear what judge jock says in this particular video right. jack do you feel guilty you know seeing the woman that you love have to deal with these uncomfortable conversations with her friends because of your mess i do and i've and I apologized no he don't several times, many times Hell, you just, i just found I mean, out right that now. these text messages was real and the, the nerve I'm that not, you did not stop I'm not this talking production about that. i'm not talking about to that, apologize but. just says it now we don't hear him say you know he he apologized all the time but let's get to where, what Mida had to say and the fact that Jock told Mida that he was in love with her he told her and then I saw these two beautiful ladies like literally fighting and I'm like for who for who, who are you two fighting over like I need to know who and is this Prince Charming clear that you knew about so we're gonna hear a little bit from me there and i'm gonna come back at spice's dinner you laid out a detailed timeline about your relationship with with jock why did you feel the need to, to share that information i didn't bring it out it was brought out and then i started getting asked questions so i answered them spice you're the first one to bring it up I mean, what if Mita wasn't telling the truth and then i would have ruined their wedding kendra knew i, I existed I knew you existed. He oh told me that God. I had past dealings. So then you knew in I existed. His la in his last marriage, girl. But you knew I existed. I know okay. you exist. I All can right. see you, honey. Okay. But you and you cannot believe what what Jock does the next time. Let's just watch this clip. He literally stands up and leave the two of them to continue. Like it. I'm like, do women see how they look? Look at this. Look at this. Just look at it. He doesn't even care. 
You can both kill each other. Right? Look, look at this. Look at this mess. Oh my God. See, I'm going to say this. This is why some men are out here misbehaving. Some, not all. This is exactly why some men are out here misbehaving. Because when you give some men the opportunity to continue playing with you, they will continue playing with you. That is exactly why Jock actually feels like he's the preference in this. He, he probably feels like a pretty, a pretty guy, in a pretty girl in this. Because you have security over here try to take trying to take Kendra out you can imagine now I'm gonna say this ladies don't forget to press that like button because this is educational this video is being put here for educational purpose to show women because this actually applies to a lot of people either the one from Safari like the situation between Safari and his girl or Kendra and Jock. Like, if you look at all the men that have been problem ha that has been problematic, you will notice that is because the women keep sweeping it under the rug, sweeping it under the carpet, keep forgiving, expecting them to change. They're never gonna change. If they did it before, they're never gonna change. You have to make the decision to. Choose your own happiness or choose your own misery. So this does not only apply to all the poor guys. You can see even men with money do, do behave like this as well. So you're going to have to decide as a, as a woman, do you want to continue taking disrespect? Do you want to continue taking disrespect? Or do you want to do the right thing and leave? Now with that being said, I'm going to say this. Please press that like button, subscribe, and I will see you all on the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.